Hello everybody, here I'm going to show you how you're, you can do a provisional cast on with a crochet hook. Um, you can use this type of cast on for your dancing flora shawl or for any other project you may need to. Um, I have a, a, a little bit of uh, waste yarn that um, it's a leftover uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, to make a chain with my crochet hook. You can do this to create, um, you are going to do a chain that is bigger that, uh, than your stitches. So if you need like 20 stitches, you are going to make like 25 uh, chains. So one I have already, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's pretend that I need 10. And then what I do is I uh, pass this through totally to secure the end. And in the beginning, I'm going to make a knot that will let me know that that was the beginning of the row. And I'm going to show you why that's important. So in one side, you're going to see some V's, like when we cast on or when we bind off. I'm not going to use these V's. I'm going to turn it around and use the bumps from behind. You see them? Okay, now I'm going to take my, my yarn and my needle. I'm going to skip the first one, I'm going to start from the second one and I'm going to insert it here. You see that? Okay. And I'm going to slip some yarn inside to create the stitches. Okay, one. Two, three, four, oops, where is it? Here, one moment, yes, so we do it correctly, here, okay, let's do now this, and I want to show you, when you are done with, and you um, have created all the stitches that you need for your pattern, then you unravel this last knot, not from the beginning that we have marked with this knot, but at the end, you take this out. In order to, to work to, to see that working, you should have cast it on a little bit of, um, of your pattern here. So you have a small swatch. And then you unravel here and it will and at the end you're going to have your live stitches in your needle to work to the, towards the other direction and give it the shape you want to give it. And that's it. Thank you for watching.